of the gallant airship Macon, pride of the Navy and queen of the skies, the $4 million dirigible, which since her completion two years ago has been the eyes of the fleet. Today lies a twisted mass of wreckage 250 fathoms deep off the California coast. The giant air fighter crashed into the sea while cruising in war maneuvers. Just at dusk, one of her gas bags burst, then another, then a third. Why? No one knows yet. The great ship became unmanageable. It nosed up several thousand feet and then dropped rapidly despite emergency efforts in the control car. Commander Wiley finally ordered abandoned ship. The huge craft, which the West Coast so recently hailed, lurched into the sea, its officers and men dropping to safety with rubber life rafts as a dozen Navy vessels ablaze with searchlights rushed to save them. Here are 50 survivors of the Macon crash coming ashore. Lieutenant Commander Herbert V. Wiley, skipper of the ill-fated dirigible, will tell you how it happened. I've just uh, come ashore from the uh, cruiser Concord, which uh, picked up the lifeboat I was in after the uh, landing of the Macon on the sea. About uh, 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon, we had some sort of casualty that destroyed uh, control of the airship and uh, ruptured gas cells, so we lost buoyancy rapidly, and uh, we were unable to gain control and had to descend upon the sea. 